Vilnius University, Lithuanian, Vilnius Universitetis, former names exist, is the oldest university in the Baltic states and one of the oldest in Northern Europe. It is the largest university in Lithuania. The university was founded in 1579 as the Jesuit Academy College of Vilnius by Grand Duke of Lithuania and King of Poland, Stephen Batory. It was the third oldest university after the Krakow Academy and the Albertina in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. In the aftermath of the Third Partition of Poland 1795 and the November Uprising 1830 the university was closed down and suspended its operation until 1919. In the aftermath of World War I the university saw failed attempts to restart it by Lithuania December 1918 and invading Soviet forces March 1919. It finally resumed operations as Stefan Batory University in Poland August 1919, a period followed by another Soviet occupation in 1920, and the less than two years of the Republic of Central Lithuania, incorporated into Poland in 1922. Following Soviet invasion of Poland in September 1939, the university was briefly administered by the Lithuanian authorities from October 1939, and then after Soviet annexation of Lithuania June 1940, punctuated by a period of German occupation after German invasion of the Soviet Union 1941 administrated as Vilnius State University by the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic. In 1945 the Polish community of students and scholars of Stefan Batory University was transferred to Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torin. After Lithuania regained its independence in 1990, following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it resumed its status as one of the prominent universities in Lithuania. The wide-ranging Vilnius University Ensemble represents all major architectural styles that predominated in Lithuania, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque and Classicism. History Changes of the name The university has been known by many names during its history. Due to its long history of Jewish, Polish and Russian influence or rule, the city portion of its name is rendered as Vilna Latin, Wilna German or Wilno Polish, in addition to Lithuanian Vilnius see History of Vilnius. 1579–1782, Alma Academia et Universitas Vilnensis Societatis Iesu. The Latin name is rendered into English as Jesuit Academy, Jesuit College, or Academy of Vilnius Vilna, Wilna, Wilno. 1782–1803, Shola Princeps Magni Ducatus Lithuaniae, Principal School of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania 1803–1832, Imperatoria Universitas Vilnensis Rendered into English as Imperial University of Vilnius Vilna, Wilna, Wilno 1832 to 1919 closed originally by order of Tsar Nicholas I 1919 to 1939 Stefan Batory University Universitet Stefana Batorygo in Poland 1940 to 1943 Vilnius University this period encompassed the first Soviet occupation and German occupation 1944 to 1955 Vilnius State University 
1955–1990, Vilnius State University of Vincas Kapsukas 1971–1979, Vilnius Order of the Red Banner of Labor State University of Vincas Kapsukas Vilnius Darbo Rodinozios Valiavos Ordino Valstibinis Vinko Kapsuko Universitetis 1979–1990, Vilnius Orders of the Red Banner of Labor and Friendship of People's State University of Vincas Kapsukas Vilnius Darbo Rodinozios Valiavos I R Tatu Dragastes Ordinu Valstibinis V. Kapsuko Universitetis 1990–present, Vilnius University Topic: History by period. Topic: Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. In 1568, the Lithuanian nobility asked the Jesuits to create an institution of higher learning either in Vilnius or Kaunas. The following year Valerian Protasiewicz, the Bishop of Vilnius, purchased several buildings in the city centre and established the Vilnian Academy Alme Academia et Universitas Vilnensis Societatis Jesu. Initially, the Academy had three divisions, Humanities, Philosophy, and Theology. The curriculum at the college and later at the Academy was taught in Latin. At the beginning of the 17th century there are records about special groups that taught Lithuanian-speaking students Latin, most probably using Constantina's Servetus compiled dictionary. The first students were enrolled into the academy in 1570. A library at the college was established in the same year, and Sigismund II Augustus donated 2,500 books to the new college. In its first year of existence the college enrolled 160 students on April 1, 1579. Stefan Batory, King of Poland and Grand Duke of Lithuania, upgraded the academy and granted it equal status with the Krakow Academy, creating the Alma Academia et Universitas Vilnensis Societatis IESU. His edict was approved by Pope Gregory XIII's a bull of October 30, 1579. The first rector of the academy was Peter Skarga. He invited many scientists from various parts of Europe and expanded the library, with the sponsorship of many notable persons, Sigismund II Augustus, Bishop Walerian Protasiewicz, and Casimir's Lu Sapieha. Lithuanians at the time comprised about one third of the students. In 1568, there were circa 700 students, others were Germans, Poles, Swedes, and even Hungarians. In 1575, Duke Mikolaj Krzysztof Radziwill and Elsbieta Aginska sponsored a printing house for the Academy, one of the first in the region. The printing house issued books in Latin and Polish and the first surviving book in Lithuanian printed in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania was in 1595. It was Kathichismas, Arba Mokslas Kik Vienum Krikshoniu e Privilis authored by Mykologis Doxa. The Academy's growth continued until the 17th century. The following era, known as the Deluge, led to a dramatic drop in the number of students who matriculated and in the quality of its programs. In the middle of the 18th century, education authorities tried to restore the academy. This led to the foundation of the first observatory in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth the fourth such professional facility in Europe, in 1753, by Tomasz Zabrowski. The Commission of National Education Polish, Komisja Edukacji Narodowe, the world's first Ministry of Education, took control of the Academy in 1773, and transformed it into a modern university. 
The language of instruction as everywhere in the Commonwealth's higher education institutions changed from Latin to Polish. Thanks to the rector of the academy, Marcin Pochabit Odlanitsky, the academy was granted the status of principal school Polish, Skola Glona in 1783. The commission, the secular authority governing the academy after the dissolution of the Jesuit order, drew up a new statute. The school was named Academia et Universitas Vilnensis. Topic. Partitions After the partitions of Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Vilnius was annexed by the Russian Empire. However, the Commission of National Education retained control over the Academy until 1803, when Tsar Alexander I of Russia accepted the new statute and renamed it the Imperial University of Vilna Imperatorsk IJ Valensk IJ Universitet. The institution was granted the rights to the administration of all education facilities in the former Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Among the notable personae were the curator governor Adam Jerzy Zartoryski and rector Jan Sniadecki. The university flourished. It used Polish as the instructional language, although Russian was added to the curriculum. It became known for its studies of Belarusian and Lithuanian culture. By 1823, it was one of the largest in Europe. The student population exceeded that of the Oxford University. A number of students, among them poet Adam Mickiewicz, were arrested in 1823 for conspiracy against the Tsar. Membership in Philomasi. In 1832, after the November Uprising, the university was closed by Tsar Nicholas I of Russia. Two of the faculties were turned into separate schools, the Medical and Surgical Academy Academia Medico and the Roman Catholic Academy Rimsko-Katolika Academia Duchona. But soon they were closed as well with Medical and Surgical Academy transformed into Medical Faculty of University of Kiev now Bogomolay's National Medical University, and latter one being transformed into St. Petersburg Roman Catholic Theological Academy after the October Revolution of 1917 moved to Poland where it became Catholic University of Lublin. The repression that followed the failed uprising included banning the Polish and Lithuanian languages, all education in those languages was halted. Topic 1918–1939 Lithuania declared its independence in February 1918. The university, with the rest of Vilnius and Lithuania, was opened three times between 1918 and 1919. The Lithuanian National Council re-established it in December 1918, with classes to start on January 1, 1919. An invasion by the Red Army interrupted this plan. A Lithuanian communist, Vinkas Kapsukas Mikovicius, then sponsored a plan to reopen it as Labour University in March 1919 in the short lived Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic, later, Lithuanian Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic, but the city was taken by Poland in April 1919. Marshal Józef Pilsudski reopened it as Stefan Batory University on August 28, 1919. The city would fall to the Soviets again in 1920, who transferred it to the Lithuanian state after their defeat in the Battle of Warsaw. Finally, in the aftermath of the Zeligowski's mutiny and Republic of Central Lithuania general election, 1922, the Vilnius region was subsequently annexed by Poland. 
In response to the dispute over the region, many Lithuanian scholars moved to Vytautas Magnus University in Kaunas, the interwar capital. The university quickly recovered and gained international prestige, largely because of the presence of notable scientists such as Władysław Tatarkovich, Marian Jihovsky, and Henrik Nivodnazanski. Among the students of the university at that time was future Nobel Prize winner Czesla Miłosz. The university grew quickly, thanks to government grants and private donations. Its library contained 600,000 volumes, including historic and cartographic items which are still in its possession. In 1938, the university had seven institutes. 123 professors 104 scientific units including two hospitals 3110 students the university's international students included 212 russians 94 belarusians 85 lithuanians 28 ukrainians and 13 germans Antisemitism increased during the 1930s and a system of ghetto benches, in which Jewish students were required to sit in separate areas, was instituted at the university. Violence erupted, the university was closed for two weeks during January 1937. In February Jewish students were denied entrance to its grounds. The faculty was then authorized to decide on an individual basis whether the segregation should be observed in their classrooms and expel those students who would not comply. Fifty-four Jewish students were expelled but were allowed to return the next day under a compromise in which in addition to Jewish students, Lithuanian, Belarusian, and Polish Democratic students were to be seated separately. Rector of the university, Władysław Marian Jakowicki, resigned his position in protest over the introduction of the ghetto benches. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II Following the invasion of Poland the university continued its operations. The city was soon occupied by the Soviet Union. Most of the professors returned after the hostilities ended, and the faculties reopened on October 1, 1939. On October 28, Vilnius was transferred to Lithuania which considered the previous 18 years as an occupation by Poland of its capital. The university was closed on December 15, 1939 by the authorities of the Republic of Lithuania. All the faculty, staff, and its approximately 3,000 students dismissed. Students were ordered to leave the dormitories, 600 ended in a refugee camp. Professors had to leave their university flats. Following the Lithuanization policies, in its place a new university, named Vilnius Universitetas, was created. Its faculty came from the Kanas University. The new charter specified that Vilnius University was to be governed according to the statute of the Vytautas Magnus University of Kaunas, and that Lithuanian language programs and faculties would be established. Lithuanian was named as the official language of the university. A new academic term started on the 22nd of January. Only 13 of the new students had former Polish citizenship. Polish law and social sciences, humanities, medical, theological, mathematical life sciences faculties continued to work underground with lectures and exams held in private flats until 1944. Polish professors who took part in the underground courses included Iwo Jaworski, Kazimierz Petrusiewicz and Bronisław Rybleski. The diplomas of the underground universities were accepted by many Polish universities after the war. 
Soon after the annexation of Lithuania by the Soviet Union, while some Polish professors were allowed to resume teaching, many others along with some Lithuanian professors who were deemed reactionary were arrested and sent to prisons and gulags in Russia and Kazakhstan. Between September 1939 and July 1941, the Soviets arrested and deported 19 Polish faculty and ex-faculty of the University of Stefan Batory, of who nine perished, Professors Stanislaw Sawinski, Władysław Marian Jakowicki, Jan Kempisty, Józef Marcinkiewicz, Tadeusz Kolaczynski, Peter Oficjalski, Władimierz Godlowski, Konstanty Pietkiewicz, and Konstanty Sokol Sokolowski, the last five victims of the Katyn massacre. The city was occupied by Germany in 1941, and all institutions of higher education for Poles were closed. From 1940 until September 1944, under Lithuanian professor and activist Mikolas Bursiska, the University of Vilnius was open for Lithuanian students under supervision of the German occupation authorities. In 1944, many of Polish students took part in Operation Ostra Brahma. The majority of them were later arrested by the NKVD and suffered repressions from their participation in the Armia Krajowa resistance. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Soviet period 1945 to 1990. Educated Poles were transferred to People's Republic of Poland after World War II under the guidance of State Repatriation Office. As the result many of former students and professors of Stefan Batory joined universities in Poland. To keep contact with each other, the professors decided to transfer whole faculties. After 1945, most of the mathematicians, humanists and biologists joined the Nikolaus Copernicus University in Turin, while a number of the medical faculty formed the core of the newly founded Medical University of Gdansk. The Turin University is often considered to be the successor to the Polish traditions of the Stefan Batory University. In 1955 the university was named after Vincas Kapsukas. After it had been awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Labour in 1971 and the Order of Friendship of Peoples in 1979, its full name until 1990 was Vilnius Order of the Red Banner of Labour and Order of Friendship of Peoples v. Kapsukas State University. Though restrained by the Soviet system, Vilnius University grew and gained significance and developed its own, Lithuanian identity. Vilnius University began to free itself from Soviet ideology in 1988, thanks to the policy of Glasnost. Topic. After 1990. On March 11, 1990, Lithuania declared independence, and the university regained autonomy. Since 1991, Vilnius University has been a signatory to the Magna Charta of the European Universities. It is a member of the European University Association and the Conference of Baltic University Rectors. Topic. Status today In modern times, the university still offers studies with an internationally recognized content. There are three bachelor and 16 master study programs in English. As of 10 October 2017, there were 19,768 students attending Vilnius University. The current rector is Professor Arturas Zukaskis. The university, specifically the courtyard, was featured in the American TV series The Amazing Race 12. Topic. 
Topic Structure Topic Faculties Business School Faculty of Chemistry and Geosciences Faculty of Communication Faculty of Economics and Business Administration Faculty of History Khanna's Faculty Faculty of Law Faculty of Mathematics and Informatics Faculty of Medicine Faculty of Philology Faculty of Philosophy Faculty of Physics Institute of International Relations and Political Science Life Sciences Center Topic Other Divisions Botanical Garden Center of Information Technology Development Center of Property Management and Services Cultural Center E-Learning and Examination Center Library Museum Publishing House Conference, Seminar and Leisure Center Ramuva Health and Sport Center Topic. Campus The old campus of Vilnius University consists of 13 buildings and 13 courtyards. At present the rector's office, the library, the faculties of philology, philosophy, and history are situated there. The largest courtyards are P. Scargos the main courtyard M. K. Sarbivajaus Courtyard Library Courtyard Observatory Courtyard, Faculties of Physics, Economy, Law, and Communication, as well as Business School, Life Sciences Center, and Scholarly Communication and Information Center are located in Solitecus District. Topic. Ranking. Vilnius University is ranked 401 to 410 among world top universities by 2018 QS World University Rankings. In 2017 QS WU Rankings by subject, Vilnius University is ranked 201 to 250 in linguistics and 251 to 300 in physics and astronomy. In QS rankings of Emerging Europe and Central Asia, Vilnius University is ranked 21, Vilnius University is ranked 601 to 800 in the world and 291 in Europe by Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Topic. Projects. Recent and ongoing projects at Vilnius University include Laser spectrometer for testing of coatings of crystals and optical components in wide spectral and angle range. NATO Science for Peace Program Project. NATO SFP 972534. 1999-2002. Cell Biology and Lasers, Towards New Technologies", Vilnius University, UNESCO Associated Center of Excellence. Science and Society, Genomics and Benefit Sharing with Developing Countries, From Biodiversity to Human Genomics Gen Benefit". Doc, E. Gefinas Faculty of Medicine. 2006 to 2009 Citizens and Governance in a Knowledge-Based Society Social Inequality and Why It Matters for the Economic and Democratic Development of Europe and Its Citizens 
Post-communist Central and Eastern Europe in Comparative Perspective e -E Doc. A. Povaliunas Faculty of Philosophy. 2006–2009. Marie Curie Chairs, Center for Studies and Training Experiments with Lasers and Laser Applications Stella. A. Dubitas Faculty of Physics. 2006–2009. Research Infrastructure Action, Integrated European Laser Laboratories LaserLab Europe. Professor A. Piskarskas Faculty of Physics. 2004–2007. Nanotechnology and nanoceses, knowledge-based multifunctional materials, new production processes and devices, cell programming by nanoscale devices Cellprom. Professor A. Kareva Faculty of Chemistry. 2004–2009 Advanced European Infrastructures for Detectors at Accelerators, IDA 2020 Institute of Applied Research, Faculty of Physics. J. V. Veitkus, G. Tamulitis. 2015–2019. EU Strat, the EU and Eastern Partnership Countries, an Inside-Out Analysis and Strategic Assessment EU Strat Institute of International Relations and Political Science. R. Vilpasaskis. 2016–2019. European Network of Research Ethics and Research Integrity. European Ethics and Research Integrity Network, E. Gefinas Faculty of Medicine. 2016–2019 Topic: International Relations. Vilnius University has signed more than 180 bilateral cooperation agreements with universities in 41 countries. Under Erasmus Plus program, the university has over 800 agreements with 430 European and 55 agreements with partner country universities for the academic exchanges. University students actively participate in such exchange programs as Erasmus Plus, Erasmus Mundus, ISEP, AEN Maui, and CREPUQ. The university is a signatory of the Magna Charta of European Universities and a member of the International Association of Universities, European University Association, the Conference of Baltic University Rectors, the Utrecht Network, Unica Network, and the Baltic Sea Region University Network. In addition, Vilnius University has been invited to join the Coimbra Group, a network of prestigious European universities, from 1 January 2016. People Nobel Prize winners Czesław Miłosz, poet, the Nobel Prize in Literature 1980. Notable professors and alumni of Vilnius University In alphabetical order See also List of early modern universities in Europe List of universities in Lithuania Utrecht Network Protmusis Start FM Vilnius University Folklore Ensemble Retilio. History of Vilnius <laughs>